Welcome back to the Infinite Cup Podcast. I am your host, Robert Breton. This is a very exciting episode with a lot of the owner and creator of Soul Drops. She hosts plant medicine ceremonies and she is a legit shaman. We just had an incredible time really demystifying shamanism, plant medicine, you know, everything from ayahuasca, San Pedro. I mean, everything that you've heard of, you know, in this, uh, you know, realm and higher consciousness from quantum physics, you name it. We really dug deep here. You are going to love this episode. Just, you know, imagine a world where we live in, right? Imagine this creative space that we live in right now where there is actual plant medicine available to us that is 100% safe, effective, and available over the counter anywhere, right? That's the day we live in right now in 2019 and Soul Drops is the original creator of this. I just, you know, feel privileged to bring Vlada on the show to really demystify all this stuff. I've been waiting honestly for a long time to really, you know, talk about psychedelics, talk about plant medicine in a very conscious way, in a very descriptive, informative way that has a scientific background, right? That's the age that we're living in. It's not this, you know, uh, yoga stuff anymore it's nothing mystical you know we're bringing in the science we're bringing in everything that we have in the modern age in order to understand what is happening you know in the brain through the body through our spirit our emotional body our astral body and Vlada and I just had an amazing connection Um, you know my first time connecting with a real shaman having her on the show and really connecting about all things plant medicine you guys are going to love this and I just wanted to mention one more thing you guys have the access to the soul drops exclusively from the infinitecup.com. You can use the affiliate link there. It's like the best way to help out the show to keep everything alive here. Keep doing what I do, keeping me, you know, afloat, keeping everything that I do here at the Infinite Cup afloat. And just I couldn't do it without you. So take the time to go over the infinitecup.com, use the affiliate links for the soul drops. You guys are gonna love this. These are, you know, all the products on my affiliate page are not, you know. They're not phony. These are stuff that I use myself. This is stuff that I use every single day. I incorporate into my life. I wouldn't be talking about these products or even mentioning them like at all if I didn't use them myself. So I want to mention that. I just want to talk about how this is a very important subject to me. I don't take this lighthearted. I don't take this, uh, you know, for granted. This isn't something that is uh, not for everybody. It's just been a major tool for my growth and transformation. So I want to bring somebody, you know, professional on the show. And Vlada is just that. And Soul Drops is just an amazing company. I've been waiting for this day. So I'm just excited to present this interview with you guys. And without any further ado, here is Vlada, the creator and owner of Soul Drops. And let's dive right into it. All right, everybody, welcome. Here we are in beautiful Beverly Hills, this amazing space. Thank you so much for the invite. And I'm just happy to connect with you and just dig into plant medicine, shamanism, and everything that Soul Drops has to offer to the world. And just thank you for connecting. No, oh, thank you so much for having me. It's, uh, it's an honor and my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So let's uh, just get started with how everything happened for you, getting into this, getting into plant medicine, getting into shamanism. How did your journey begin? Well, I grew up in my grandmother's pharmacy. And mm-hmm. since I was five years old, I was selling uh, herbal tinctures. Wonderful. Yes, and, uh, you know, it's... Uh, For some of us, we tend to forget who we are and uh, we need to reinvent ourselves, rediscover ourselves. We do different stuff in life and um, then life comes in cycles, right? And you come cycle after cycle after cycle. Mm -hmm. And I guess it came that cycle where I was like very pushed and pressured to wake up Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) we all need that right absolutely (laughs) so it all started just with um 
essential oils and uh, uh, crystals, yes. you know, mm-hmm. and uh, just little things. And I start meditating. Mm-hmm. And then um, I was very interested in energy. Like I start receiving the messages. Like everything is energy yes. and we're all energy mm. and it's all about energy. Yes. And I remember myself just like being completely taken over by it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, I was so interested. So um, different schools start to appear for me to get my training done. Yeah. Take it to that next level. Yes. Mm-hmm. Take, oh, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and I was like, I wasn't hesitating. I was like really open to it and very fascinated by yeah. energy work. Uh-huh. And first, um, I was getting initiated into Cosma Energy. Mm-hmm. This is the method of working with universal frequencies. Yes. Yes. Um, it's kind of like Reiki, mm-hmm. but it's just more wide and more advanced, I would say. Yes, I agree. It's like in Cosma Energy, like I have a master mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have um, 22 healing frequencies. Wonderful. In my toolbox and 22 magical frequencies. Wow, cool. Yes. Uh, so it was it was very interesting part of my life yeah. where I was just practicing and getting integrated with what I do and mm-hmm. growing. And yes, it was exciting. Very exciting. When I look back, I see myself... Vlada, you were so little. You were so, <laughs> you were so, like you did. You didn't really know what you signed up mm-hmm. for. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, just playing along those strings. <laughs> yes, it was just okay. It's fascinating. Let's play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the depth, you know, yeah. and the height of work, mm-hmm. you really um, delving into with implementing more and more and more modalities. Yes, I agree you know and with with your journey and with mm-hmm. your time mm-hmm. and with your trust of course mm-hmm. i agree so and then uh, it came to the point where um my teacher introduced me to plant medicine mm-hmm. and um at first to be honest with you i wasn't I wasn't like taking over by it. Mm-hmm. It's a little jarring. It's a little. It was just, yeah, yeah. I, I would say maybe it was kind of like a test if I'm going to come back to it. Yes. Yeah. I can totally relate to that. Yes. <laughs> I was very grateful to the spirit, mm-hmm. but I said, thank you. No, I'm going to stick with yep. something that is more safer. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> the comfort zone. <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. The comfort yeah. zone. Well, it's this expansion. And then at some point you have to come right back into the body, right? Yes, so exactly. it's an integrative process. Yes. Yeah, I can totally relate. Yes. But, you know, once you've tried it, there is no way back. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. 100%. <laughs> you can't go back. You realize that you're just so expansive and you're much greater than this body and you, there's no going back to that. Yes. It's impossible. And it's just, um, I would say that's the curiosity as well, you know, because I would say curiosity is a um, quality of, of God. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Yes. I've never heard it like phrased like that. And I completely yes, agree with you. That's yeah. the quality of God. Mm-hmm. It's like very divine quality mm-hmm. because if we wouldn't exist all of us and we wouldn't live at this particular moment yeah. with the world progressing and progressing if it wasn't the curiosity. Yes. Yes. So wow. I would say that that was, that was big for me. Mm-hmm. And, um, I subconsciously manifested mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> um, different circumstances in my life mm-hmm. uh, to be in the environment yeah. um, and working with plant medicine again. Mm-hmm. And uh, all my stories are quite mystical and quite um, fascinating. And uh, I tried working with plant medicine in a completely different um protocol Mm -hmm. uh working with two plants back to back i love that idea it's very unique and i can totally see that need for it absolutely Mm -hmm. because uh usually when people go just and work with one energy like your female energy Mm -hmm. and they do 
um, few ceremonies in, in a row, mm -hmm. what happens to you and to your brain and to your neuroreceptors, it's getting actually out of balance. Yes, because, I can agree with that. Because like ayahuasca is work, works uh, for serotonin neuroreceptor. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you're getting like out of balance. Yes. And to balance it back, you need to work with two plants. Mm -hmm. So San Pedro works with dopamine near the receptor. Mm -hmm. And when I tried that content, uh, ceremonial content, that particular protocol, I, I got it. I'm like, whoa. Mm hmm this is completely different. Yeah, balance the yin and the yang together. Exactly. So is it the same day or different days or uh, same, is it a, it's not a mixture of the two. No, no, it's absolutely It's like one after not. the other. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, Ayahuasca at night yes. and San Pedro when the sun rises. Wonderful, wonderful. I love that balance too. Yes. I could agree with you. I feel like um, ayahuasca and these plant medicine ceremonies are becoming popular for many reasons. And I just want to, you know, bridge the scientific qualities with it too. Like you're talking about the neurochemicals I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. Absolutely. And we need uh, to understand serotonin and dopamine and these things that, you know, we're experiencing every day. Yes, absolutely. So for me, it was, um, I would say it was kind of like a selling point mm -hmm. when you start bridging spirituality and science. Yes. And I would say that science is a modern language of speaking spirituality. It's true. I agree. You know, um, just the word spirituality there is a lot of mysticism around it and yeah. a lot of uh, misconception around it mm -hmm. and a lot of fear around yes. it yes and usually we are afraid of something what we don't understand and we don't know yes and if it can be explained just with science with spiritual psychology mm -hmm. with quantum psychology yes then it's not scary anymore yeah i love that it's so true because we need to balance that out with the intellect too i i love to geek out on this because when you understand uh, the chemistry and the things that are happening in your brain I've, I've the experience is much more wholesome i feel like when you understand a little bit of what you're getting into and yet having room for curiosity and growth always it's just it, it brings more confidence yes yes mm -hmm. um I just want to uh, talk about uh, mind, body, and spirit connection yes. because we all talk about it. It's uh, it's such a um, marketing uh, phrase now. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. it's been using, <laughs> it's been used so much, yeah. but not so many people really experience that. It's true. Mind, body, and spirit. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and how to integrate all of them and together. how to integrate yeah. I hear quite often when people talk about or I have problems with my liver or mm -hmm. I have problems with my kidneys yes. and when people are saying that they don't even understand that <laughs> they are they are mm -hmm. their liver yes yes they are their kidneys mm -hmm. it's not the problem with the kidney mm -hmm. That's the problem with you. Yes. The holistic approach. Yes. Yeah, we don't need to uh, separate any one thing. They're all working as a collective. So I completely agree with you there. Yes. And that's how we need to you know, target this if yes. we're, we're so, going to heal. So this is what plants are assisting us with. Yes. They're getting us reconnected mm -hmm. to our body yes. and our mind. Because usually we just live in our I call small light. Yes, I like that term. Just in our mind, mm -hmm. and I call it just small light. Yeah. We don't go down. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. People, um, it's what I say, it's people are living the projections or the programming of what they think there should be or their peers or their family members who they should be. And until you have this uh, realization of your true self, whether through plant medicine or meditation or yoga, fasting, there's so many avenues to this. And then for me, uh, we can kind of hone in on this because I feel like the, the biggest missing link is that integration process. A lot of anybody can go on, you know, these ceremonies, but how do you, you know, integrate that into your life and, and really have that balance between mind, body and spirit, right? Because yes, it's one exactly. thing to have that big expansion, but then, you know, channel that into your, you know, business, your romantic relationships, everything that you do. 
Yes, and that's why we created um, um, support and I offer uh, integration sessions mm -hmm. for people. So smart. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I work quite widely. I use um, quantum psychology, I use spiritual psychology, mm -hmm. um, I, use, I work with past lives mm -hmm. as well. So I've been trained in different shamanic schools Wonderful. besides the plant medicine. Mm -hmm. I've been trained like in a um, Cherokee school, mm -hmm. shamanic school. So I've, I've implemented different, different modalities and different tools for, uh, for my work. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I call it like neo shamanism. Wow. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you like a different modality, it's like a key to the new universe. Yes. So instead of just holding to one key and mm -hmm. using just one modality, yeah. you can reach to the certain point where you feel like, okay, I'm a master. Mm -hmm. And you start looking to a different modality True. as well. True. That's the, that's the full integration process right yes. there. You said it perfectly. And uh, I call them like tools on your tool belt. You know, how many Absolutely. tools do you have when these, you know, because life happens, right? It's, Absolutely. It's how we react to life. And a lot of people are kind of trapped in that reactive state all the time. Mm -hmm. They don't have the space to really... Um, resolve their issues, whether it's health or financial or anything like that. So yes, the, to me, you know, plant medicine or just uh, plants and fruits and vegetables in general have always been the answer. Nature has always, you know, provided us something just at the exact time that we need it. And the mind is the one that's trying to, you know, create some other thing or that we think we need when really it's that thing right in front of us. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. I, I totally agree with you. And by um, collecting and um, practicing and implementing different modalities, um, you kind of like start creating your own method. True. You 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 become. Um, you're not in in a particular school. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes, because there is no one right way. Right. Yes. It's just whatever resonates with you. Whatever resonates with you. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm a yoga teacher. I teach meditation too. And it's not one particular path. So what yes. I just tell people, it's if it's chanting on beads or if it's a sit down practice, it really just whatever resonates with you that is getting those results. So I completely agree with you. And it's same thing with the plants because not all plants are going to resonate with that individual. Right. So yes. it's about finding which plants and which, you know, foods are going to be appropriate yes. for your own unique identity. Yes. And of course, uh, we offer to people um, detox uh, programs and detox protocols mm -hmm. at the same time because it's very important to detoxify your glandular system. Yes. Your brain and nervous system. Yes. Um, your lymphatic system. Yes. Uh, then it comes to organs, mm -hmm. so it's um, it's it's a journey. It's a process. A lot yeah. of emotions comes up. Yes, <laughs> so <laughs> much, <laughs> so much. I mean, you hit the nail on the head there. And nobody nobody <gasps> talks about that because for me, that's what I focus on: the detoxification or the purification of our body. And that's um, you know whether it's plant medicine or food or meditation, like the clarity and the richness of those things. Just it, it's infinite. It doesn't stop. And that's what you know motivates me. Yeah. That's kind of like the fuel that I have to, you know, to keep detoxing or cleansing whatever, you know, protocols that I'm doing. And it's because I'm getting so much out of this and, and I can feel the difference. <laughs> Absolutely. I think the main key uh, for facilitator, for facilitator mm -hmm. is to walk the talk, yeah. not talk the walk. Yeah, I agree. And what it does to the space, actually because we live in a quantum world, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Where if we break down ourselves mm -hmm. to cells, then to um, atoms, yes. then to electrons, protons, mm -hmm. like molecules, and that all breaks down to energy. Yes. So we all energy, yes. just in a physical form, but mm -hmm. we are all energy and mm -hmm. everything is energy mm -hmm. around. And um, being, um, experience facilitator what it does to the space on a quantum level it just uh, start reprogramming and planting the seeds yes. 
for the participants yes. with the parti with the participants mm -hmm. it's very um like it happens all the time uh when i work in the ceremonial content mm -hmm. um i always engage with participants before we start good and i always um let them speak their intention so important yes and then i channel the information Oh, good. Yes. yes. Uh, this, this is this is important. Yes. Because just to give an introduction, yes, it's important. But then mm -hmm. you really need to set up the space. You really need to set up the container. Your your job as yes. a facilitator to adjust, because when you um, speak to the participant and they tell you your intention, mm -hmm. you can just help to turn a little bit yes to give like a, a better navigation mm -hmm. i agree and at the beginning um not everyone get it yeah oh yeah it's not a quick fix it's not a quick quick <laughs> fix but after ceremonies yes. people would come to me mm -hmm. and they would tell me you know what and they will start telling me exactly what I was telling them. Exactly. So I always ask people to record. Oh, even better. <laughs> yes, that's very helpful because that <laughs> to part record of you that, before uh, yeah. and then yeah. to listen to it <laughs> after and see what plant medicine really does for you. So smart. I love that idea. I would have never thought of that. Because <laughs> then there's no excuses, right? Because that it's a different space. It's not the intellect. It's a different um, intelligence. So Absolutely. when you come back to your, your brain, your physical brain, it's yes. very different. And you have to uh, you really integrate that information. And so having that recording, I can just imagine having so much value to that because then you can integrate so much faster. Yes, yes. But um, integration happens, I would say, uh, just instant mm, okay and then it's the key to continue yes stay on the same frequency mm -hmm. not to go back i i completely agree because like i said earlier that integration part i feel like is is missing right now yes and therefore if we don't have that then you're just going to go right back into craving some you know out-of-body experience or something to just get you out of what you're feeling so yes that's something that just needs to be talked about more and yes. i'm just excited that even you know emotional healing is becoming popular right like yes um i feel like we all I've been through this uh, general consciousness of, of the body. Like we all want this physical beauty and that's wonderful. It's just now it's come full circle to the in, to the inward, right? And we're caring, we have values about emotions now. But I just mean on a societal level, like and everyone in society really understands now that we really need emotional support. And I think that's where the biggest play where plant medicines come in. Because everything like, people are tired of pharmaceuticals, right? People are tired of yes. anything really chemical based because they know it's not really gonna work sustainably. So therefore the plants, they right there always, they've always been there for us. Yes, absolutely. So that's why we've created Soul Drops. Yeah, let's talk about that because I love your products. I've been using your products for a while now and I've been honestly waiting for this moment, like I said, where it's become mainstream and there's just integrity and it's safe and it's effective and yes. um, you can really use it to your own benefit, whether it's just yes. microdosing, whether it's going into your business or romantic life that we can use intentions on our own like daily life. Yeah. And then, yes, take time if we feel necessary to go into bigger ceremonies yeah. and that's just wonderful so first of all thank you for creating this because like I said I've been waiting for it and it's just awesome to see it you know on this level now that's my pleasure mm -hmm. thank you so much um, yes so mm, soul drops is a um, plant medicine um, microdosing uh, elixirs it's a very unique elixirs. They've been prepared um, with a spiguric mm -hmm. technique. So this is not homeopathic. Mm -hmm. It's spiguric. And the difference is that it's been um, um, <laughs> <laughs> um the mind, body, and soul has been in, is extracted from the plant. Yes. Usually, just um, tinctures and homeopathic um, tinctures, they prepared by extracting just the mind of the plant. Yes. 
And with this Pigiric uh, technique, uh, we extract mind, body, and the soul. So it goes through uh, three different um, processes from uh, extraction, purification, and recombination. Wonderful. The whole plant. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, in one drop, we have the whole plant. We have the mind, the body, and the soul. Yes. And this is the actually the secret mm -hmm. um, in a, in the healing, how it connects to us. I can totally the plant. agree with that. Yeah. This is how it connects to us. This is why we have such a profound results with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the potentiation is so big that you need just few drops of yes. it to feel the effect mm -hmm. and to see the result. Mm -hmm. So we have four uh, products. We have soul and it represents masculine energy. Mm -hmm. um, this is for action when you need more clarity and you yes. need more energy when you wake up yeah. so you take soul and um, it really helps you to stay sharp it's masculine energy you go you do stuff yes you know it makes you feel more active mm -hmm. and I would say it makes you more bold and brave yeah definitely I think is, clarity is important too just yes. that clarity of mind yes and usually we that's my favorite is the mind, mind mm -hmm. yes mind it's really um such a great uh adaptogen and uh, it it what it really does it det detoxifying your brain so important so then your brain gets more oxygen yes and this is coming back to the body. Mm -hmm. We, all of us, we don't breathe with our full body. Yes. We either breathe with our upper part mm -hmm. or lower part. We don't breathe like the whole. Mm -hmm. And we all have lack of oxygen, or oxygen in our organs and our exactly. brain. So mind really helps you with getting more oxygen. Wonderful. And uh, usually um, people like to take people like to take this combination soul and mind together mm -hmm. so it's good to explore and this is just such a self-exploration tool it is you can really play with it but i would recommend to start playing with it on a weekend <laughs> 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 when you don't need to go to work i agree set and setting yes is because so we are all such a different chemical factories yes 100%. for some people just one drop is a lot yes that's why we have two strengths yes. we have regular strength this is regular strength and mm -hmm. we have extra strength yes um and people combine people combine they create their own uh, combination mm -hmm. You know, it, it really helps people to go through day. Yeah, I agree. And then for the evening loon, mm -hmm. this is feminine energy when you really need to kind of like disconnect from action. Yes. And go back to your feelings mm -hmm. and go back to your just uh, very calm space. I like that. Yes, but you can use it for meditation yeah general yes. relaxation yes for relaxation uh, you can people use soul for meditation yes it depends you know? i like how you said it because it's very much on the individual like even you yes. know tylenol or something people react differently too yes. right so that's the thing these pharmaceutical companies and stuff that are so big like they somehow have claims that you know getting results on every person being the same but it's just not true it's not possible, no, it's, it, not possible. it's just not possible so i completely agree with you and um just finding that correct dose for the mood and time of day and the intention that you're setting for yes is yes. very important this is what we always recommend set the intention before you take the drops yes yes thank you <laughs> and i think this is just such a beautiful practice for everyday life I agree. you just need to integrate with it and implement it i agree in your daily life mm -hmm. intention is like your gps mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. without without gps without putting the address yes how are you gonna get there exactly it brings more presence and i like that word instead of goal too because goal kind of creates like an expectation and like yes. an attachment right away intention has this more expansive like mm -hmm. feeling to it when you say the word so 
that's just something that I do. And you're right, because when you start using these products, when you start doing this, it brings that ritual aspect and yes. you can create that consistency. And that's what I really love about it. So, and the fourth product we have is Cosmos. Mm -hmm. And Cosmos is more for um, lucid dreaming, for dream work. Mm -hmm. But a lot of creative people use it, like writers yes. and uh, uh, singers. And they just start... I experienced that myself. I would say it gets, um, it amplifies the creativity, but also kind of streamlines it. Because for my mind, it can get a, when I get into that creative space, I'm kind of all over the place. Yes. And it's a lot of expansive energy. But when I take the cosmos, it definitely, uh, you know, ch I'm able to channel that energy yes. into whatever I'm producing in that moment. So yes. I totally relate with that. So the idea um, of Soul Drops came to me. Um, after one of the retreats. Oh, wonderful. Yes, um, I was coming back home and I really felt that um, I'm kind of like getting back into the old frequency still. Yes. And I didn't feel enough of support. I, I completely re relate because the integration process, again, it's, um, you know, you can go on this ceremony, you can go travel, do this thing, but you have to bring those values back to your home, back to yes. your daily practice. And yes. not all of us are willing, you know, to move to the jungle or move somewhere and change our whole life dramatically, right? Yes. So that's what I love about this because you can integrate plant medicine into your business or anything yes. that you're doing. Yes. And it's only going to help bring more productivity or creativity in what you're doing it's a natural supplement yes i love and that and plants your best 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 allies yes i completely agree and this is such an ancient um <laughs> it is. I mean, it's it's been around for thousands of years. Like I said, the um, the terminology I think is the only thing that's changed, right? Uh, quantum physics, everything yes. is is wonderful. But at the end of the day, this has been around for thousands of years, and uh, shamans and people have known about this for a long time. So it's just exciting to see you know science prove uh, the things that have been around for thousands of years. Finally, yes. Yes. this mm. is ancient intelligence. Yes. Ancient intelligence just in the bottle. Mm -hmm. And you can use it. Yes. It's all done for you. <laughs> <laughs> so all you need to do, uh, we sometimes we even call it yoga in a bottle. Wow, that's a, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yes. for people, yeah, that are so it can be your spiritual practice, yep. soul drops. Yep, I completely agree. Yes, you can take the drops and do the automatic writing mm -hmm. you know you can just use it for anything yes. or you can you can be uh, more successful in business you you use it it's such a such a unique product and it can be for anything so yes it's been created to help to give more support after the ceremonies mm -hmm. uh, or for people who are interested about plant medicine yes but they're not ready yet true i think that's very so, important right now um like i said a lot of people you know hear about ayahuasca or hear about plant medicine journeys and they it's a big buzzword right now everyone's excited about it and again you don't need to you know spend 10 grand and go fly somewhere or do anything crazy you can start integrating this you know plant medicine into your daily life and especially i would almost recommend that for people instead of you know getting this idea of some big thing because it's it doesn't you don't really need that huge you know shift really you Absolutely. can actually start right now yes. uh, you know with micro dosing and you can dose it to your level of tolerance and you might not even need that ceremony or anything in the end because of something like soul drops right there yes, yes. so what so, a great idea yeah so that's why i'm 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 very proud of <laughs> of this <laughs> creation <laughs> of this creation and especially we are the first one and the only one mm -hmm. in the world so so wonderful and i it's it's because you've just got this magical creation too as far as the synergy with it i think that's the most special part of this because um, the packaging everything looks wonderful it's safe it's effective um, for people watching on youtube you can actually there we go thank you people watching on youtube you can actually see the bottles here um, they're absolutely amazing i've used all of them myself like i said earlier mind is probably my most favorite when it comes to just my personality and what i like to do and what to achieve with my attentions 
And for anybody that is wondering this, for me, again, it's the synergy that you've done with this, just the way that it's all put together, because you can um, isolate any one of these plants in the ingredients and it's not going to have that effect. So you've done an amazing job of just bringing those together to create that balance. And I think that's why it's so effective. Thank you. Yes, everything is done uh, by hand. It's mm -hmm. all handmade. It's uh, made in small batches. Mm -hmm. And it's infused with uh, mantras and shamanic energy. Wonderful. So it's really done with love. Mm -hmm. It's really, really done with love. Yeah. It's just important to talk about and just highlight the, you know, the metaphysical components to this because we live in an age where we're very just, you know, we want to see things with our two eyes and we want to have this, you know, confidence. And I really think the answers to all of our problems are not there on the physical, right? What we see on the surface is just the surface. There's something going on within what whatever is ailing you. So when we start addressing that from the inside out rather than from the outside in, I think we get m way better results. <laughs> and at least with my experience, because going deeper into meditation, going deeper into these states, I have more clarity on these things that are blocking me, whether it's a chakra thing or, or organ, you know, imbalance or anything like that. And oh, old belief, old belief patterns, old programs. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. I call them viruses. Viruses. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're true. Yeah. That's a great terminology for it. Cause that's exactly what it is. It's disrupting our natural rhythm. So the plants, again, have always been there to bring us back into that rhythm. And uh, I just want to talk about environment for a second, too, because I feel like that's a big role in this, having environment, like with, you know, the ceremonies or just when you take soul drops, right? For me, it's mostly my meditation practice, but having that proper environment for you to really access this, you know, plant intelligence is just really important. Yes, um but I, I would say that it's everything what happens around you. Mm -hmm. This is what happens inside of you. Mm -hmm. True. I completely agree. Because we have um, sender and receiver. Mm -hmm. We are all, we all receive and we all send. Yes. We are just a huge, we're just very intelligent computers, mm -hmm. biological, quantum <laughs> yes. computers. Mm -hmm. And we send, we receive, and it starts appearing in our physical reality. Yes. That's why it calls Maya, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's why um, ancients, they say everything can be changed. It's all an illusion. Yes. But illusion, not in term, it's not important. It's not real. Yeah. It's real yes. and it's not real at the same time. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just, um, we were becoming the creator mm -hmm. in stepping into the power of a creator yes. of your own life and what's going on around you. Yes. First, what you need to do, mm -hmm. you need to accept and take the responsibility. I completely agree. I, I totally resonate with that. There's so much going on that we are. Uh, you know, taking our power out of ourselves and putting it to other people, whether yes. it's uh, doctors or uh, simple things. It's just we need to circle back and bring that power within ourselves. And yes, whether it's uh, just a microdosing experience or plant medicine ceremonies that I've been a part of, it's very empowering. You know, that power goes right back to you and you realize that you are the creator and everything that you created was your own suffering that you did yourself. So that responsibility really gave me more confidence because then it's like, wow. Because then you can change it. Then you can change it. Exactly. Yes. That victim mentality is just gone like yeah. that. And that's, you know, spreading around. That virus is around yes. right now <laughs> everywhere. Yes, because people just, you know, the word responsibility sounds heavy. Yes. But for me, responsibility is freedom. Yes, I hear you. Because you know your calling, because you understand what you're here to do in this life. That's, um, yes, that's what I call uh, making the switch from the consumer to the creator. A lot of people are just consuming 24-7 mindlessly and being read by the subconscious, and then this you know, switch goes off, and all of a sudden you take responsibility and you become that creator. And I mean for everything, you, something as simple as the dentist and your teeth and health, all of these aspects in your life, you can take full control over absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely because you're an adult yeah <laughs> yes 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 when you're a child 
Then you have your parents. Yes. Or if you don't like something, you can't change it because yes. you're a child. Yes. But when you're an adult, you can change your life. Yes. You can do whatever you want. So true. Yeah, so true. for me, responsibility yeah. is the freedom. Yeah. Once you accept that everything what's going on in my life, mm -hmm. even if I'm going through struggle mm -hmm. or I'm going through suffering, this is my responsibility yes. to heal my heart. I could not agree more. And we can talk in a little bit deeper as far as and the, heal myself. Yes. And, and healing yourself. Speaking of that, the um, child trauma, we can just go into trauma a little bit because yes. that's really the source of all of this. Cause that trauma is just being recreated. Right. Absolutely. I, yes. I've experienced that myself and experiencing how many times I've recreated the same scenario so I can finally integrate that lesson. And it's yes. amazing how, whether it's relationships or anything, it's amazing how the universe will just keep giving you these things until you really understand that lesson. <laughs> A lot of it is, uh, I would say, you know, childhood parent, you know, an imbalance between the divine masculine and feminine is how I would word it. And then how that portrays into the first seven years of our life because of that programming that we got, right? Yes. A, a buzzword is like, you know, unschooling or unlearning. I've done so much, you know, work to really dig deep at that so I can have the clarity and the happiness in my life that I have now. So that's where I look at a lot of people. It's, you know, if we can just have that, you know, I just... Um, became a father myself and oh, congratulations thank you so much my son is just two months old and oh my god yes i'm so happy and so Beautiful. excited and i'm just <laughs> it fuels me like you're talking about to you know not program him see what i mean and to let him have his own unique experience and not let my stuff transfer to him so i just think that um we really need to acknowledge that and really work on ourselves to the place where we're all just clean and you know neutral it's not something where we have to keep you know giving that programming to these people our, our kids our future generations absolutely so the work that you're doing with plant medicines let's just kind of segue into how it heals trauma and how we need to address the emotions just the emotional body as a whole yes um ceremonies can be um i would say tricky mm -hmm. because during the ceremony what happens uh your subconscious mind become like very open and active yes and people uh, some people they have uh, a lot of visions and they have a lot of messages yes and they translate it like very flat mm -hmm. very like straight okay yeah, plant uh, plant told me to do this yeah. or plant told me to do that <laughs> yeah and um they're getting confused mm -hmm. because they're doing what the plant told them to do, yes. but they don't get the result what they expect. Yes. That's why um, I offer people private sessions for integration. So important. And we go into subconscious mind mm -hmm. because subconscious mind really speaks with symbols. Mm -hmm. True. Um, and this is what subconscious mind understand yeah if you're gonna try to train your subconscious mind with something intellectual mm -hmm. forget it no it's not gonna happen you need repetition you need patterns you need things yeah that are really gonna cement and solidify into that subconscious mind i agree um yes yeah, so i worked um, through the meditation mm -hmm. and uh, different symbols mm -hmm. and uh, different images this yes. is how this is the the fast track yes this is the shortcut <laughs> how to reprogram your subconscious mind i love that and to me you know what i do at the infinite cup it is very important to address that and because that's really the source of a lot of our suffering right there exactly is that subconscious mind people are basically living from that subconscious mind and these programs rather than living through the conscious mind that you know prefrontal cortex the real human yes. self yes they're just constantly in emotions and reactivity and that's really you know from the creator is here in the front and that consumer is in that back right so that's the shift that i'm talking about that needs yes. to happen yes on the back we have our reptile brain yes so and we all live in a fight and flight yeah. mode uh -huh. so by just relaxing your dragon mm -hmm. this is how i call the I reptile brain yep. relaxing your dragon mm -hmm. getting the connection with your beast yes mm -hmm. you know going deeper and stop mm -hmm. being afraid of 
your beast and your dragon and yeah. make it a friend. Yes, so important. So this is the real work mm -hmm. and this is the real gift. Yes. And then you will start create a different uh, reality, mm -hmm. a different environment for yourself. Yes, I agree completely. It's a, uh, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it sort of thing, right? So it's like that, all that energy in the back of the brain, it's just, it's gaining more and more. It's like, wh which wolf are you feeding? I love that exactly. analogy. And yes. we need to take the time to create that uh, presence for meditation and certain things. Like for me, just, you know, whether it's something that's a smoothie or cleansing like that, like making those everyday choices, right? Yes. To create and feed that wolf in the prefrontal cortex, the real human self. Yes. And every day is, uh, you know, an opportunity to do that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, life starts every day. Yes. I love that. When you wake up, your life starts. <laughs> yes. Your new life starts. <laughs> if agree. you choose. It's true. It's true. I tell people life doesn't really start until you start asking questions like, who am I? Yes. Where did I come from? That yeah. was my question. What am I here to do? During my awakening. Uh -huh. That was all I was uh -huh. interested in. Yep. And that was still uh -huh. driving me and yep. keeping me going. Exactly. What else can I do? Uh -huh. How else can I serve? Yes. So true. That's what we're all here to do. That's the Absolutely. highest uh, emotion, empathy, serving one another. We're all brothers and sisters on this planet, and uh, we're all caught up in our differences, you know. And I think plant medicine, any you know, plants in general. I mean, that's uh, for, you know, for all species, for all things on this life. So there's nothing more uh, natural for me than plants. I just can't really. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, the mind, the human being wants to play God and try to uh, create something special or different or unique when really that thing is always right there in front of us. And it's just amazing to me how just, you know, we can get more scientific in it. But like, for example, like the MAO inhibitors, right, with ayahuasca and having that, uh, you know, how could somebody even know about that 5,000 years ago, you know, and how that, is, you know, that specific combination needs to be there. Otherwise, it simply won't work. Exactly. Right? Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, something as you know profound as that, uh, when I learned, you know, those little tidbits really threw me over the edge where it's like, okay, I got to just surrender and let go and just stop doing whatever I think is working and just go with these things that have always been here, you know, yes. that are, are, have always been working for other people. Yes, it's just kind of like putting your ego on a passenger seat. Yes. And take the divine intelligence to come in. Yes, so true. We need to really let that be our uh, role, or like our fuel in life. I yes. think a lot of people are basically uh, serving the ego or the little self, right? And that's, you know, the dopamine addiction and all these cravings that we have on a daily basis, especially you know, now in 2019 in the social media, you know, world yes, that yes. we live in, I feel like this, you know, soul drops and everything is uh, needed now more than ever as we, you know, escalate into this digital age that we're in. Yes, because it's a constant pressure. Yes. And it's a dopamine deficiency because mm -hmm. um, it's a scientific study mm -hmm. that every time when we hear our phone beep, yep. like any yep. message <laughs> or yep. comes through or we have a strike of dopamine yes. in our brain. Yes. So without hearing that, mm -hmm. you feel it. We, we, you become a dopamine yep. deficient mm -hmm. because you're waiting for it. Yes. And another fact mm -hmm. that every time when it's you, you receive a message, the back of your brain mm -hmm. thinks it's danger. <laughs> so true. It's trying so to protect a lot of, you. <laughs> a lot of cortisol. Yes. Yes. comes into your bloodstream mm -hmm. and cortisol is a hormone of stress yes exactly it's very toxic it's so toxic that's why everyone's walking around with adrenal fatigue the yes. link with adrenals and kidney weakness yes. i mean every you know um, the way i look at it is just bringing back into balance and that's why i don't have notifications on my phone you know I, my phone's on silent <laughs> 24 my phone, 7 my phone is on silent 24 <laughs> seconds yeah. uh, 7 for that same yeah Absolutely. reason and for me i would take it further too i'm very just um, sensitive to sound and stuff too i can feel that you know whether it's a siren or something like that that adrenal just boost and it's mm -hmm. like that tug you know mm -hmm. and i i'm very conscious of where i get those hits of dopamine because if you're not aware that's why i tell people it's it's 
happening, whether, you know, it's food, cigarettes, whatever you're doing, you're getting that dopamine release. So I just tell people just be very conscious of where you're getting that release from, right? Because exactly. you're going to get that that valve is going to hit zero and you only produce so much per day. It's not how it works. You can't take a supplement and just get back to a hundred percent. No, it's not how it works. No, so, it's not how it works. At all. That would be great. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because everybody's asking for the magic pill. Exactly. Yeah. The problem with the magic pill is you don't have the lesson and the integration, right? Like let's say it existed. Let's say there was a magic pill, right? At the end of the day, it really wouldn't do you any good because that problem, that you know, disease, that suffering, whatever it is, even a tumor, right? There is a very particular important lesson there. A gift. A I gift. call it a gift. Thank you. Yes, a gift. Yes. And when we flip that lid and, and embrace it as a gift, that's when everything changes. It's, it's night and day difference, that um, you know, victim mentality of this, oh, everything's crumbling, flipping it to this gift and how can I share it? with the world exactly so i think yeah if even if that pill existed i wouldn't want to take it because i've uh you know obviously through that rough road of you know emotions and everything at the end of the day you come out bright and vibrant so i'm very confident that that's the true method that's the true method mm -hmm. because it's really um training you and teaching you how to become your inner um alchemist yes i love that Mm -hmm. That's what I love. I love yeah. alchemy. So yes. this is alchemical product. That's exactly what it right? is. Mm -hmm. So, but I think um, it takes m a lot of skills to become your internal yes. alchemist and know how to transmute energy, mm -hmm. how to get it out in ecological way. Yes. And this is what I teach people. So important. Because people need that knowledge. Yeah. After working with plants and uh, ceremonial content, mm -hmm. a lot of emotion rises. Yes. And you need to have um, instructions, you need to have yeah. tools how to process it. I agree. So this is what I do during um, the ceremonies as well, during uh, the healing weekends or retreats. Mm -hmm. I explain people, I teach people how to um, get those energies out in an ecological way. Yeah. So important. I feel like the general, we can talk about this too. I'm curious, you know, more than I do, um, just as far as the origins of ayahuasca, meaning the, uh, or any plant medicine ceremony traditionally was like the shaman, right? Only consuming. Yes. And then this is the traditional, traditional ceremony yes. when the shaman drinks. Yes. And goes into the spiritual realm and identifies, identify yes. your stuff, yes. your problem and fixing that yes exactly and now I, I would say from the don juan like in the 90s and things it kind of shifted to this uh uh individual experience yes. and it's kind of um, changed as far as the collective right from yes. like one shaman in the tribe to like everyone yes. being their own guide being their own shaman i love the saying of like we are the ones we're waiting for right absolutely we're all waiting for some guru or or being enlightened being to come you know heal us or something and it's not gonna happen <laughs> well i have to i have to uh tell something but uh not everyone's gonna like sure please do that no one can heal you. Exactly. Okay? Yes. If you have expectation mm -hmm. that someone will come yep. and do some magic tricks <laughs> and heal you, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. They can assist you. Mm -hmm. They can hold the space. Yeah. They can guide you. Mm -hmm. But you need to do the work. Yeah, I completely you, agree. That's your responsibility. So true. So true. Uh, the inner work, the daily work that we have to do, um, at the end of the day, nobody else can do it for you. So. And it's hard only in the beginning mm -hmm. when you need to process and uh, transmute those old, heavy um, frequency yes. energy. Yes. But then it's fun. True. I agree. There's usually a bigger something that people are are holding on to whatever that might be trauma attachment of some sort and there's waves of it there's bigger ones that it's never ending right there's always yes. something because of, of the environment the quantum world we live in yes. and relationships or anything we, we can always take on you know karma or certain things too that we might not be aware of so i just want to just talk about how it's a a practice right it's not something like you just go once and then you're good and then you're 
the whole life is all <laughs> wavy gravy, you know? And I feel like that's when people hear that term, ayahuasca or yes. plant medicine, that's like their expectation all of a sudden. Yes, exactly. Right? Like exactly. all I have to do is go do this and I'm going to see some cool stuff and then I'll, I'm healed, you know? And it's, it's more, I would say it's the complete opposite of that in the sense of if you're not ready for the, you know, emotion, like I love the saying, the only way out is through, right? Yes. So whatever that trauma is, whatever that, uh, emotional imbalance it is has to be faced it has to be confronted so mm -hmm. that's where yes the environment set and setting is so important so yes. being comfortable you know when those emotions come up when those yes. uh, uncomfortable things in our life come up for us to face that is the moment of transformation right there absolutely i totally agree with you mm -hmm. So, yes, when people when people think, okay, I'm gonna go to the ceremony and yeah. drink ayahuasca, yeah. and it's supposed to fix my stuff. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, it's gonna be the opposite. <laughs> yep. Because the veil has been lifted. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you've been activated. Yep. And you start um, sending and receiving what's inside of you, what came up, mm -hmm. and it starts materializing in your life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It can be very good things, yeah. like amazing things, mm -hmm. because some of your gifts can be activated. That's true. But with your gifts, again, you need to be ready for your gifts. And, yeah. and you need uh, uh, somebody who is experienced to explain to you yeah. how to utilize That's your true. gifts, how to integrate with your gifts. So true. Because sometimes gifts can be... Um, damaging for your psyche they can it's uh i would say it's um i don't know how to phrase it whether it's mind body spirit but we have um this regular world i guess you can call it living in you know like with your job and personal and business friends and things and you get like this download this uh metaphys it's beyond physical it's very um expansive the energy that comes in it so when you try to take that back to, you know to your normal life it's just not going to happen so that's where really where for me i feel like it's playing different layers of it for example the physical component like the detoxification exactly right so if your body like the nervous system needs to be able to handle this amplitude exactly. this energy this yes. frequency that's yes. coming through you and if you're gunked up and blocked up it's just not going to flow it's, it's not you're gonna not going to experience that so there's prerequisites and exactly. things that um, you know will help in the sense of getting more clarity to that attunement to these you know frequencies and a lot of people are I feel like um, haven't got those experiences even if they've done ayahuasca or any other plant medicine simply because they haven't done the preliminaries yes, yes. but um i have to say that um, there are three components in the ceremony okay the first component is you mm -hmm. right the participant yes um how much you are ready for it or it might be just an exploration, mm -hmm. but but not too many expectations. This is what I always tell yeah, people. That's important. Please have no expectation. And yeah. everything what you heard about ayahuasca or you read or you <laughs> watched on YouTube, just forget it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's all you need to just forget it. Uh -huh. I want it out of your memory of your hand <laughs> because you're going to have unique experience yeah. which is designed only for you i love that it's so important i love that you you know talk about that because absolutely it's just not talked about enough yes mm -hmm. the second component is the medicine mm -hmm. and when people um hear of ayahuasca mm -hmm. they think that all ayahuasca drink is the same they do mm -hmm. and it's not no <laughs> there are hundreds of different recipes yes and every shaman, a facilitator, they have their own recipe. Mm -hmm. And how it was cooked, with what intention yes. it was cooked, mm -hmm. it's all matters. Yeah, I completely agree. Especially those subtle factors like intention, like because anyone can have the physical components, right? The leaves, the thing, the brew itself, but then having the actual energy behind it is, I would say, more important than the physical component too, because that's what you're uh, imprinting on that particular batch or ceremony, whatever it is. That's yes. very important. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very important. Mm -hmm. It's very important what you put in your pot mm -hmm. when you're cooking. Yes. What kind of plants? Mm -hmm. um, I. I 
hear questions from people like I heard that people died from ayahuasca mm -hmm. and or they had very rough experiences. Mm -hmm. It's all it it really depends on the drink and how it's been cooked and what's been cooked. Exactly. Because um, shamans who are not trained enough mm -hmm. in metaphysics, yes, they use um, hallucinogenic plants exactly or purgative plants yes to intensify the experience for the participant yes so then people think oh my god i had such a strong ayahuasca yeah got my money's worth yeah yes mm -hmm. but it's not about being strong no. mm -mm. it's about um it's about being able to navigate I your agree. experience i agree you don't need to be hammered yeah. with ayahuasca, <laughs> yep. and then you need to hold on, mm -hmm. just not to not to die. <laughs> yeah, ayahuasca is for a deep, deep, deep relaxation yes. for your nervous system. Yes. First of all, mm -hmm. so important. We just live in a very overstimulated world. Absolutely, it's yeah. That's why people come for ceremony mm -hmm. just to get this treatment done exactly. it's a treatment yeah, 100 percent. it's a treatment mm -hmm. um but treatment for body mind and soul we need to address that's the you know the old paradigm versus the new right the old paradigm that was just focusing on the body or, or you know that western mentality of like okay there's something going on in the intestines let's just get rid of the intestines <laughs> exactly <laughs> and we've switched you know the new paradigm is all about this holistic approach integrating the mind body and spirit yes. and just uh, you know awesome times we live in where this is becoming uh, accepted by society that's all because i just feel you know this like reefer madness uh general repressed energy that's been lingering around for quite some time and now there's company you know rick dobbin with maps and different um corporations and different things coming into this play as far as creating this for everybody and on the consumer level so to me that's the most exciting part because it's only a matter of time now before you know this takes over and all of that old kind of repressed energy just fades away so i'm just excited about it all around yeah, me too <laughs> me too that's why i'm doing this uh, yeah I'm, I'm it's just amazing i've a part of me is like why did it take so long and but the other i just understand the general you know people that are repressing this as well right because the pharmaceutical companies and blah 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 have a that's yes. a very big uh, power a, engine it's there a, it's a very big egregor yeah exactly it's a huge egregor yeah, greedy yeah money yes. that's all it is so yes. at the end of the day that will only get you so far though see what yes. i mean and the results and the experiences for whether you know ptsd trauma like we can go on and on about yes. how many things are being benefited without having to take pills for the rest of your life yes. see that's the thing is this is about empowerment and using it as a tool to heal yourself and that's what i really love at the end of the day it's just restarting your 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 machine it's yes. just restarting your body it's yes. restarting it's relaxing calming mm -hmm. with a natural very powerful plants yes which give you profound effect mm -hmm. um and and then just restarting your whole system it's a reset yes Completely. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. This is what. This is why you're going mm -hmm. to the ceremony. You want to have a reset. Yeah. You want to get rid of old stuff. Mm -hmm. I can You want to re re reset your system. You want to yeah. get this um, stress out of your yes. out of your cells. Yes. So, and the third component is your facilitator, of mm -hmm. course, because. Um, facilitator is the captain of the ship mm -hmm. he said it i could not agree more and then that's honestly why i've uh, avoided a lot of things is i'm just really good at uh, vibing people and there's a lot of people that i would say that are jumping into this that don't have the integrity and don't have the right intentions as far as creating that you know holistic healing effect and it's either you know for money or greed or anything like that like we were discussing for you know giving people these vast you know experiences but really it's not about that it's just about no. circling back to who you truly are and having that reset because again we live in this world that's just very overstimulated to it our is. nervous system yes. so it's not normal the you know the chemical releases in our brain that we're getting every day yes. is not normal and we really need to take the time to have that priority shift in order to create that sustainable happiness that we want absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. so yes and uh, because uh, during the ceremony 
everything what shaman think, everything mm-hmm. what shaman what shaman's intention, yes. everything what shaman knows mm-hmm. goes into your consciousness. Yes. That's why it's so important. Yes. What kind of captain do you have for the ship? So important. I mean, looking back too, I want to tell people it's it's permanent too. Like those uh, impressions are permanent, and it's something that will stick with you forever. Like the people that you're doing ceremony with, all of that um, is transferable when you enter that space. Um, it's kind of funny. It, um, recently, you know, with my Um, son being born that was honestly the most psychedelic experience that I've ever had in my entire life by far and I just want to talk about that for a second because for me uh, that's like the only um, like what I'm trying to get to say is that's wired in our human body right like all of these things uh, you know dimethyltryptamine in the brain like all of these chemicals and things are uh, in our body and the plants um, synergistically work together to create that effect within our body. Absolutely. Right. So it's not so much like this outside thing, you know, this dose or, or getting drunk or whatever, like we were talking, it's more so just activating those dormant, you know, energy Absolutely. centers that are already within Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the baby is going through birth canal, mm-hmm. it has, I believe like DMT in the brain, mm-hmm. uh, 300 times more. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> I to, believe to it. To go through mm-hmm. than we normally have. Yeah. So it's, we, we already have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We just bring it to the right balance. Yes. And we activating our dorma DNA. Yes, I completely agree. And that's, that's what excites me about this alchemy and, and getting further into passing this on to future generations, right? Because the more I purify and clean my body and temple, that I can pass that on to generations further. So that's kind of what excites me about this because you're not, you know, perpetuating this problem that we all have together, this, you know, unity consciousness that we're available and tapped into. We can deal with our stuff on the collective and not have to, you know, keep that to our ancestor or to our future generations rather. Yes, yeah. yes. We're doing for our um future generation mm-hmm. we're doing for our ancestors yes. as well at the same time mm-hmm. because we're just one energy it's true we're just one organism yes it's you true. know and by healing yourself you're healing the the whole yes. tree oh yes i've seen it i'm sure you have way more yes. than i have it's funny too i i think we're divinely uh, meant to talk i am uh, i wouldn't call myself a shaman but i've definitely facilitated many ceremonies because of how um, my personality and the confidence that I have and the people call me like the referee it's kind of a funny thing because I um, have that ability to navigate realms without even um, just without partaking so it's something that I feel very just connected to you and what you're doing because a lot of people really need that guidance right now they need that that structure to it Mm -hmm. right and it's something that as time you know as we continue forward with this that will be the new norm like plant medicines having a sustainable effect like you can go into a room whether it's a psychology like sit on the couch type of thing i'm just saying we're getting into this age where it's professional you know you don't have to go to the jungle or or anything like that and it's going to become very normal and this other you know pharmaceutical thing is going to let go very i mean it's already happening right now i'm just you know projecting out a little bit so it's fun because I've, like I said, just been waiting for this. And now people are going to be able to experience it without all of that, um, like extra work that it takes, you know, to have access to this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's I, why, that's why I think soul drops is just fantastic because yes. it's, it's legal and it's so safe. Even if a child drinks the whole bottle, yeah. nothing's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for saying that because a lot of people, I think, still have that um, you know, fear the, to the connection, unfortunately, because of these shamans and people that have mixed other uh, you know, plants that should not be in this brew and things that are way too um, just toxic, basically. Those toxic ingredients should not be put into these, you know, pure ceremonies. And unfortunately, people have done that and kind of, um, you know, mudded the space a little bit. So by creating soul drops, I feel like that has really, you know, brought more unity to this whole vision, this whole collective vision that we really need to unite people in the sense of creating, you know, a higher vibration through plants and not this uh, chemical thing that we're still kind of stuck in right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Well, cool. Is there any other, I'm curious just out of um, just one story or one thing that you want to share that has just, um, you know, brought more um, confidence in as far as what you're doing? Just could be anything at all, nothing in particular, just whatever you want to share. Um, for some reason, um, what comes through uh, because you start talking about we don't need to go to jungle mm -hmm. and it just comes through me and I have to talk about it. Yes, please do. I'm just being completely guided mm -hmm. during our podcast yeah. by spirit. So yes. um, people still have that illusion mm -hmm. that somewhere in the jungle mm -hmm. there is a shaman <laughs> yeah. who's gonna heal them mm -hmm. well maybe <laughs> i'm not against jungle yes no i agree with you absolutely no mm -hmm. but it's just good to take into consideration that people who lives in the jungle mm -hmm. they have no idea about problems yeah we face mm -hmm about struggles so we have mm -hmm. because they live in a harmony yes. with nature yes and then i just they are not just able mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. why are you so stressed <laughs> yep. what is going on with you? <laughs> so true <laughs> plus for gringos mm -hmm. people with ego and and um who are hunting for money, mm -hmm. they exist in the jungle too. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. And they very happy to take advantage of you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the grass is greener on the other side sort of thing. Exactly. And I hear you 100%. And yeah, uh, for me, I haven't been to the jungle, but uh, Alaska is one of my places where it very much uh, has that vibe to me. And it's the same thing. People in Alaska, um, you know, don't have that stress and don't have that uh, tension that is just constantly in the air and coming, you know, from California up to there, it took months to, you know, of living in Alaska before that shift happened. Mm -hmm. And then the first time I drove back into the States through, you know, driving through the border in Washington, I had a panic attack straight up from feeling this collective, you know, driving into this collective energy of all this anxiety and all these things. And I was like, wow, I'm about to enter this. Like, I really had to question what I was doing at that moment. And it was the first time where I had to acknowledge just the power of environment when, it, when we have to use that as a choice because a lot of people, I feel, just blame themselves, right? That judgmental mind. Yes. When really we can have the power to change our environment and exactly. circulate that new energy to yes. create that change. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, I would just want people to integrate more with being responsible for their choices there is yes. nothing wrong with going and experiencing and exploring yeah. there is nothing wrong with it but just it's good to be cautious at the same time it's good to be uh, responsible mm -hmm. uh, not to harm yourself even more yes. because i see uh, people coming from jungle and mm -hmm. then completely ungrounded yes i hear you completely ungrounded mm -hmm. and they can't integrate with this life it takes them months yeah. sometimes six months mm -hmm. sometimes nine months yeah and they they're very unbalanced mm -hmm. because they've been just doing one plant they're working just with one plant yes they're coming back very ungrounded and mm -hmm. unbalanced and mm -hmm. and they can't just easily integrate with day-to-day -day life in yeah. our modern uh, world mm -hmm. And, and that's why it's so important to really um, ask yourself and really do your did you, did you, uh, <laughs> 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 really, really do your research. Yes, so important, especially yeah, in this day and age, 100%. Yes, really do your research, mm -hmm. who you trust yourself, yes. who you give yourself to. Yes, I agree so much with that. Uh, we're, too, uh, we're too vulnerable for anything exactly. else and especially in that um that state that frequency through you know the medicine it's you're just you're amplified as far as that vulnerability and that's where things transfer so being mindful of that is 
very important step that is uh, overlooked right now in this age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Um, this has just been awesome. I was just so happy to connect with you. Um, where can people uh, find you? Where can they learn more about Soul Drops? Where can, you know, for people that want to take that next step or they're just curious, where can they find you? So we have a website, mm -hmm. souldrops.net. Mm -hmm. Also, we are on Instagram, mm -hmm. Soul Drop uh, Tribe, mm -hmm. and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have my website, vladatalan.com. Wonderful. So you can reach out and uh, have a free consultation. Perfect. Yes. And um, yeah, we're, we're here. Yeah, great, great. Yeah, I'll link all of that, you know, in the description below so people can find you. Thank and you so much. It's just been an honor. Um, like I said, just having this in our modern time is so important. And I'm just excited to see it, you know, here in person to be able to pick up these bottles, you know, and touch them. And to do this is just amazing. And um, I can remember... For me, gosh, it's probably been, I don't know, 12 years or so, you know, first getting into this sort of stuff for me. And I had that thought of like, okay, you know, one day this is going to be normal. Like one day Absolutely. people aren't going to, you know, freak out about it, you know. And, you know, 10 years later, it, here it is. So this is really exciting. And I've, personally, I've experienced benefits and you really just have to take it to that level for yourself and yes. becoming that creator and becoming the healer that yes. you already are. Yeah. Well, Robert, this is... It's for me. It's not. It's gonna be normal. It is normal yeah. for yes, me. I, yes. I live it every single <laughs> yes. day. For me, me too. It's normal. I agree. I just for our listeners, for a lot of people, I know there's just new, you know, new people that are getting into this. So yes. It's more so. And again, this is why it's such a perfect segue into this because if you're, you know, transitioning or, um, you know, from anything and getting into it, whether you know CBD, anything like this is becoming popular. So. Yes through that we can have you know because we all have inflammation you know absolutely we all have some sort of imbalance you know absolutely. that's not the issue the issue is what are you doing about it absolutely right? and at the infinite cup what i'm all about is you know what's natural and sustainable mm -hmm. so those things that we've all tried before they're you know people are tired of that because it's not working so that's really where it brings this you know collective holistic approach that is needed now versus that old you know old paradigm so thank you you know for being you know a leader in this new paradigm and just doing everything that you do thank you so much for having me yeah wonderful well namaste namaste all right <laughs> that was so fun that was good yes I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, me too. That was so good.